In this video, I'm going to talk about using the custom JavaScript feature in AppPressor. Please make sure to check our documentation for the latest information about this feature in case you're watching this video and it gets outdated. But as for now, the way that this works is you are able to upload a custom JavaScript file that activates JavaScript inside of your app. Um, now there's an important difference that we need to talk about and that is that some of the pages in your app, such the custom pages, are actually contained within the app itself. Um, your WordPress pages are actually separate from the app because they're displaying your WordPress site. So when we talk about custom JavaScript inside the app, we're talking about only for custom pages. This is going to be mainly for custom HTML pages. Um, if you want JavaScript that is activated on your WordPress site, you would load that through a plugin or a theme the same way that you would normally, and that would only affect the actual uh, iframe of your WordPress site. So uh, there's a couple different ways to handle the JavaScript. Just be aware of that. I'm going to show you how to actually make custom click events and uh, fire off JavaScript inside the custom HTML pages. So here I have a custom page. It just has some, uh, you know, we're using an ion card and this markup is straight from the ionic documentation. We have a little list with a couple of buttons and an image. And I'm going to show you how to make one of the buttons do a custom uh, action on custom with custom JavaScript. So if you go over to our documentation, uh, you just look up custom JavaScript in at docs.appressor.com. You'll see that you need to create a JavaScript file, and then we have some sample code here for you. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'm going to open a. I'm going to create a new JS file. Which I've just called app-custom.js and I'm going to paste that code in there. So this is just running inside of an anonymous function and we have a helper function that's ready. This is not the same thing as the jQuery ready function. It's different. So you need to use it the way that we have it written here. Um, the, this custom JavaScript, you cannot use jQuery or Angular or any other library. Um, it's only vanilla JavaScript. So keep that in mind. Um, now, let's see, the first thing, I'm going to delete this second function. If you look at this one, basically this is going to take a selector. So in this case, we have an ID of click me. And then once that, uh, once that element is ready, then we're going to be able to execute some JavaScript on it. Um, in this case, we are just, um, we're doing a window.open function, which will open the in-app browser, which is for opening up a website in a separate window. So let's save that and then we're going to go back into the app itself. So in our app itself, we need to pick an item. Let's use this button and let's give it an ID of click me because that's the one that we are going to look for. Now, when I go into my settings, this is where I'm able to upload custom JavaScript. Uh, you will not see this if you're on a starter plan. This is only for agency and hire. So um, keep that in mind if you don't see it. So what we're going to do is select our JavaScript file. And upload it and then click choose file. And now you'll see that this JavaScript file is there. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go rebuild. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, update the changes to my custom page. And it's also going to include my JavaScript file into the app so that I can test it in the preview. Once the build is complete, you may want to do a hard refresh or clear your cache because um, just to make sure that that new JavaScript file is loaded. So if you don't see the action happen, you'll want to do a uh, clear your browser data and do a refresh. And then once we do that, then we can click on this custom link and what should happen is it should open a new browser window, which it does with our website that we, uh, or your website URL that we put in there. So uh, this is what happens in the browser preview. Inside the app, it's actually going to use the in-app browser, which is a little slide up modal window. But basically we know that our, that our JavaScript is working here. So that's good. Now, um, if you want to do other things with it besides just you know, uh, do, do window.open, you, you can actually use some of the PhoneGap plugin functionality. 
So if we look back in the documentation, you'll see that here we have another another function right here, which is uh, using the social sharing. So to put that in there, all we would do is on this click function, we would replace it with our social sharing message. And that would open up the phone gap social sharing modal and then allow people to share this custom message to see what the, uh, you know, what the functions are that I can use out of social sharing. I would need to go to Google and type in um, Cordova social sharing and go to the social sharing plugin. And then they have documentation here that tells you what type of functions you can use. So if we scroll down, you'll see that we have all of these functions um, and it tells you what all the parameters are. So for example, you can share only the message. You can have a message and a subject. Uh, you can have an image, things like that. And this is all in the documentation for this plugin. Um, so if I go back here, so out of the all of the foot, the uh, Cordova plugins that we're using in app presser, uh, social sharing is going to be probably the in, in app browser, probably going to be the only ones that are straightforward to use. Um, beyond that, if you wanted to, you know, send an HTTP request and that way you could communicate with a WordPress site, you could put that in here. Uh, just keep in mind that you are going to use an XML HTTP request. Uh, so if you if we look this up, so you cannot use you know a jQuery HTTP request or anything like that. So it does need to be just the straight up X XML HTTP request. You know if we were to do this. Again, we could add in, you know, our HTML, our, our X HTTP request, and then that way you could be actually sending data to your WordPress site. So keep in mind that you cannot access any elements on, on the WordPress site using this JavaScript. Again, if you if you need JavaScript on the WordPress side, that needs to be loaded through a plugin or theme, and it is completely separate. It will not affect the app. So these are two separate things uh, when you're loading custom HTML, JavaScript, and WordPress JavaScript. So I hope that helps. Keep in mind that this is uh, this feature is in beta, and we cannot offer support for custom code. Um, so, but I hope this helps.